Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. For any first time viewers, I'm Jesse Rebirth, and today we're going to be opening up M Toys Bane, and this is actually the stock exchange version, so I'm really excited about it. The crazy thing is, though, is I pre ordered a Fire Toys stock exchange Bane like three plus years ago. Never thought it was going to come out. This one was uh, went up for pre order. I pre ordered it, and then it came out even before the Fire Toys version, and then like a week after receiving this, I got an invoice for the Fire Toys one. So you're going to eventually see two of these Banes. We'll compare and contrast, see which one's better. I mean, you can never have too many Banes. This is probably like my fourth or fifth Tom Hardy Bane, because I absolutely love Tom Hardy as Bane. And I didn't think I would, knowing that he was shorter and everything, but when I heard he was going to be Bane... I went and watched Bronson, and I was like, oh my god, this guy's going to be Bane. And Tom Hardy quickly shot to one of my favorite actors with all the other movies he's been in since. I still love the guy to this day. Let's go ahead and get this open and check it out. Wow. He is already looking very badass. Check this out. Oh, wow, the little visor moves. We got our little... Oh. Wow, that just snaps right back down. We got our little uh, motorcycle helmet that he beats up that woman cop with. These gloves are cool. Look at this thing. Wow. It's all worn. Oh, this is so cool. Right away, Hot Toys could have been doing some stuff like this from the get-go. They did one Bane and they've never touched him again and he has become very hard to find. If you want that original Hot Toys Bane, we got two hands here for him as well. I think those glove hands are much cooler. Now this, I absolutely dig this. We get a Hot Toys standard base. I don't even think they do these anymore with their figures, but we get a sticker on it of the cover of the box. Now I think all custom toys should take note of this and add a base, please. We have a Joker, Joaquin Phoenix Joker, that I did a video and never even got around to finishing it. But uh, he was an M Toys, and he came with literally the bare minimum. Uh-oh. We got a free floating leg in here. That's not good. So I actually just took a quick break and I reached out to the customer service of where I got this figure. And this figure is sold out everywhere, but their policy is, is they'll try to reach the manufacturer for a replacement body. So it's kind of up in the air to see what happens. But I noticed too, you can see the scar on the back of his neck. This is totally a custom body and you can feel its beefiness under I almost kind of wonder if this is the same body that Hot Toys used for their Bane. We're gonna find out. Now I know a lot, <clears throat> well, whatever happens, I will keep this figure because you can't get it anywhere else. We will have to maybe replace his body, maybe mess around. I was kind of looking. So his vest, it's got this fake zipper up top, if you can see it. See that little fake zipper? How cool that is because if you want to take this off you're actually gonna to need to unhook him down here I thought that was pretty cool and his pants are incredibly well done right here in real life these are zippers and he actually has this zipper that unhooks right here and goes up and it makes taking a piss at a comcon very easy because I actually own these pants but his boots Everything about this toy is just absolutely gorgeous. It's just such a bummer that his leg has to be broken. I'm sure that happened in transport, but take a look at this head. I mean, this is not the Hot Toys head. Now, I know a lot of the ones that have done this figure before, I know that they used just a recast of the Hot Toys head. This almost looks like this custom head that's out there. Uh... I can't think of what they call it right now. I think it's Modern Life or their custom on Instagram, but it looks almost like that, but I couldn't, I can't be sure, but they really got his eyebrow wrinkles and everything so good. This head is insanely good. I mean, 
This figure's pants and everything is so well that it kind of actually holds the leg in place. The only thing is, is he's not going to be able to stand on it. Now with this, possibly. Yeah, that's not bad. I mean, you wouldn't be able to ever do anything with him, but that's not the worst right here. I mean, when we open up the Fire Toys version, if it has the same body, we could almost, and that one does have the head from the Hot Toys, but we could almost take that one's body if we don't like it as much and switch them. But we'll see what happens, but check this out. So this is big enough. I think I lied. I don't think it is big enough. Maybe. Oh, look at that. That was wild. So, let's go ahead and check this out. You know it's not snapping down like it was. Oh, you just got to get it high enough. That's pretty cool. I absolutely dig that. That's when he walks in all beefed up. Okay, we don't want to put it up that high. That's when he walks in all beefed up and hits the woman in the face. And then Alfred later is telling Bruce Wayne, look at the veracity. You've never faced a opponent like this. But yeah, I mean, I don't think you would use him with the helmet on, unless you have two of them. Maybe I could put this on the other version. But uh, I'm not quite sure what these hands are for, unless they're meant for like a, a bike. Like, a, you know, when they ride the dirt bikes. But these hands are gorgeous. I was thinking maybe the hand could hold the helmet. You could open it up just a little bit and hold on to the edge of it. Maybe even these. These are like a really kind of looser hand to grab things. These kind of remind me of Kaneda's gloved hands from the Medicom uh, Akira figure, which I got to finish that video and get up. But as you can see, I mean, it's a total bummer that his leg is uh, loose in there. But you know what? I'll reach, I've reached out and I'll let you all know. And if we do get a replacement body. I'll do a video of like taking this one apart so you can see his clothes completely and what kind of bodies underneath him. We'll figure something out, but this figure is just too cool. Look at how that works. So you got to put it down and over the back of him, just like that. And it goes right on. So I was just being an idiot earlier because it obviously can't fit like that. It's got to slide on. Let's see. The helmet's kind of thin. Check that out. He can definitely hold it. That, that'll look cool. That'll be a really cool. So these gloves actually have his coat packed in it so nicely that it's uh, kind of scary to want to take those off. I mean, it's a toy. That's what we're going to want to do with them. But until we find out about this leg, we're going to kind of leave him alone and then see what happens. Because if I get a replacement body from the uh, manufacturer, I guess you could say, you're going to see him come completely apart and we'll figure everything out there. But until then, I kind of just want to leave him B. He is a very good looking toy. His boots definitely look better. I mean, Hot Toys' figure obviously came out, like when did this movie come out? Was it like 2000? So the first one came out in 06. No, 05. And then 2008 was the next one. Maybe the first one was 2004. I think it was four years between each of them. So I think it was 2004 to five, and then 2008. And I think this one was 2012. I'm pretty sure it was. 
Because it would have been the same year that Avengers came out. Because I remember this came out afterward. And I live in Colorado and everyone knows what's kind of linked to that opening uh, here in Colorado. But the movie was incredible. You can see these like veins on the side of his head. This head all around is probably the best head sculpt that you could get on a mass marketed figure. It's like long enough to look like his. It gives him that really beefy kind of look. I wish he could look down a little more, but I guess not. Really dig this coat though. Really, It's like a soft leather, so you know he can like move around in it. I mean, it's not just snapping his arms back down. So, it's very cool. We got DCS Carrier Service. Very cool. This leg is kind of messing with him. But, uh, everything about this toy is freaking awesome. It's really cool. We will end up getting that vest off and everything, though. We're going to have to switch the body out no matter what. So, you will get to see this all taken apart. But for now, we're going to leave this toy be. And we'll open up the fire version of this same figure. Which is going to have the old Hot Toys recast head on it. We'll see who did the clothes better. And we'll kind of compare it up. And by then, maybe I'll have some news on uh, what they're going to do with him. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Very short and sweet. By then we'll uh, put this hand on him and everything. I'll let you know what's going on. But uh, very short and sweet. We'll get out the whole Dark Knight toy collection because I just got in that Hot Toys uh, re-release of the Batman. The t basically the TDKR Dark Knight Rises Batman. And I think some things have been updated on him. So we're going to get him out and compare him to the original release and then to this new release. But not the original original, but the original The Dark Knight Rises Batman. Very solid figure the first time around. I think they gave it a different Bruce Wayne head sculpt, which is kind of a bummer because I'm sure the other one was done by Kim and she does incredible work. She's been... She did a lot of early Hot Toys heads, like she did Gordon, she did some Bruce Wayne's. She has a picture of all the ones she's done, and she's now with Blitzway pairing up with uh, Prime One Studios. So she's done uh, Heath Ledger, she's done Joaquin Phoenix. I'm not sure if I said it earlier right or not, but we have an M Toys Joker Joaquin Phoenix. I think I accidentally said Heath Ledger. Let me know what you think about this, Bane. I know it sucks his leg is broken, but this toy is absolutely sick. And we'll get that leg figured out. But let me know what you think about it. I am getting around to the comments. I'm going through the backlogs. I will get around to yours. Just give me some time. We've been very busy. Got a new cowl in the works. And uh, I have not forgotten about you, though. And these videos are going to start coming out more frequently. I've been kind of spotty because I've been so busy. But keep buying toys. Whoa.